about a, a month ago, but with this in mind. And it, um, I've been going through a lot lately. Um, in the past months that I never thought I would have to go through. And um, what I hated most about it is that it made me question my character. And um, after thinking about it, I realized that's the one thing that you should never, ever, ever question. And so, um, with the question, what is character in mind, I wrote this. And um, there's a little small message at the end, so. Character. It is not created after birth, nor does it flex over time. It is not influenced by external factors. No, it is not that naive. It does not succumb to fear. It is, in fact, the one thing that fear itself fears. Character is the backbone of the soul, of its strength, and due to the beautiful axiology of the universe, it is infeasible for it to correlate itself with weakness. Like water over salt, pain may consume you, but character is victorious, and that is omnipotent and forever. It is the fundamental essence which heats confidence from any state of temporary dissemination. Because character is innate, it is not to be confused with or interchanged with personality. Personality stems from the nature of character, but personality is much too innocent to be mistaken for character. It is the constitutional law of all things human that graces personality to build off of it and avenge such a foundation for individuality. Character is the nature of your very being that acts when personality fails, because personality is faulty, and that it takes into no consideration morals and ethics. Personality is the flaw of the human brain to act according to societal context and succumb to fear and weakness. Character knows, but the brain does not. Character is everything vital. It is gracefully stubborn. It is not disposable or dependent. Rather, character is the constant of a human's entity. It is the homage, the safe haven, the rock for which the body's very point of existence is founded upon. It is the result of the aphorism that slips from God's lips when he bestows upon you the framework for which you will live upon. It is the reason you breathe. Nobleness and integrity are not traits of character. They are the evolution of character. The single raw material that gave rise to characteristics that separate and decipher us from one another and is why so much truly a real character when there are some characteristics is fortunate enough to be blessed with honorable ones. Character is one. Character is what I cling to when I realize there's no other part of me that gives God more pride in his artwork than artwork being me. I am the culminating magnum opus of God's force and treasure, the vision of me, the creation of me. And therefore I refuse to let anything on this earth Jealousy, confusion, anger, depression, insecurity, self-doubt, question my character. I refuse to hand over the power to any other human being or poisonous evil that threatens to plague the very core for which my character stands upon. I would like to address to all of the above, to anyone and everyone that has given my perception of my character a run for its money, particularly in these past two months, I say, Fuck you, it won't happen again.